while there are two employees here, I think they are echoing the heart of a lot of our employees who are based out of Vizac and who are happy to have Infosys in their hometown. Um, on that note, um, I would now request our Honorable Chief Minister, Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, to please address the gathering. distinguished executives of Infosys, to name a few, Sri Nilanjan Rao, Sri Niladri Prasad Mishra, Suresh Narra, and of course, all others also of Infosys, whom I've gotten this, uh, the opportunity to meet them my colleagues from the state government and all other esteemed guests as well. It's a great pleasure to be a part of this inauguration. The reason why I say this is because Vizac has always had that potential. We have, it's one particular city wherein this has the potential to become something like Hyderabad, Bangalore or Chennai. Given that kind of support to this city. This is one city unfortunately after Hyderabad the, uh, was broken away from our state post bifurcation we do not have a, a tier one city as such. You know, when all this IT and all this uh, uh, related IT services and uh, these kind of uh, industries which are related to tier one cities obviously could not be housed in Vizac because of the fact that Hyderabad was our capital. Even though Vizac had that potential. Unfortunately, we were left with this uh, tier 2 city. But nevertheless, Vizac is the biggest city in Andhra Pradesh. And this has the capacity and the potential to catapult into tier 1 city. The fact being that we have almost uh, very prestigious institutes as well in, here in Vizac. We have uh, Educational hub, housing eight universities, four medical colleges, 14 engineering colleges, 12 degree colleges, and almost generating 12,000 to 15,000 engineers every year. We have uh, very prestigious institutes as well in Vizac. We have IIM here. We have uh, uh, National Law University also here along with the eight universities and, all, and four medical colleges and uh, the 12 degree colleges that I've just spoken about. So this has the capacity, this has the potential. We have a very, uh, uh, quite a few public sector undertaking companies here. We have IOC, we have uh, uh, Eastern Naval Command, which houses almost 20,000 naval officers and families. We have uh, uh, quite a lot of public sector undertakings here. We have uh, uh, a strong port-based infrastructure already in existence. Two strong ports right away here, the Visakhapatnam port and the Gangavaram port, not very far from here. We also have the third port coming up, uh, which is uh, uh, in Srikakulam, also not very far from here. We have this uh, beautiful international airport also just taking off. I mean, uh, maybe another two years, we would have the exclusive civilian international airport also in Vizac. And most importantly, 
you know, I've asked my officers to look for a good premises for myself also to shift out. Shift out you know. And uh, probably, you know, a little bit of, uh, they have uh, scouted for the premises and you know, once it is CM, it comes with a, a huge setup of security and the CMO and officers and their living places and things like that. So, so just looking at a few, few of the premises and maybe I was hoping for October, maybe it'll be December, that's, that's what I was told. But nevertheless, December would probably be the outer line where I myself would actually be staying in Vizac. So this, this kind of push which is required for the city to actually become the tier one city. And I'm very confident that Infosys, uh, with the kind of background that it holds, uh, the 328,000 employees and 18.5 billion in revenues, uh, probably uh, TCS and Infosys and Wipro, probably these are the kind of names that actually would change the landscape of IT for any city. And now that Infos is here, we are hopeful that in the days to come, we would also have the others also join the bandwagon. So very soon we would have all these companies also come in. We have uh, uh, Adani uh, uh, data center also coming up, wherein the submarine cable is coming all the way from Singapore exclusive submarine cable and uh, with that data center actually coming into reality in the course of next two years that would once again uh, house a lot of activity especially in the cloud in clouding uh, part of the uh, IT space so all this coming into reality and I'm sure that with most importantly with Infosys coming here and uh, what uh, the, the warmth that I have received uh, interacting with uh, Nilanjan and Niladri Prasad and Suresh and Raghu and the top brass of IT here. I was very confident that these people would do wonders here for Vizac. That confidence uh, I have, uh, I'm convinced. So I think uh, with Infosys, coming down here to stay with uh, this uh, development center actually housing uh, thousand people to begin with would uh, be the starting uh, point wherein we would see uh, Infosys taking a much bigger lead in the days to come. And I'm pretty sure that Vizac would be the destination where dreams would come true. And uh, I'm confident that in the days to come, with Infosys and with uh, the support of the state government, WISAC would see uh, uh, an altogether a different uh, growth strategy, different growth trajectory. Uh, my, all my best wishes to the Infosys top management. And I'm once again assuring uh, the Infosys top management that anything you require, we're just a phone call away. Please be mindful of that. And uh, we are here to support you. Any which way, in whatever way uh, you deem fit, you please uh, 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 do uh, uh, take us into confidence and we would stand by you in every which way. That's, uh, these are the words from my side. And, uh, I wish everybody here, the top, from the top management to every employee who is who's here, all the very best wishes from my side. Thank you so much, sir. We, we value and echo your vision. Um, I would request our CFO Nilanjan Roy to felicitate with the momentum to our Honorable Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu. Uh, sir.